welcome back. Today is day three of the life cycle of my wet set. So once again, I've just got my hair back up in a, in a kind of a loose bun. I did not brush out my hair last night. I was too tired before I went to bed. So I just slept on it exactly the way it was. And so let's see what, uh, what it looks like today. Um, not too bad. I definitely still have some of the, uh, the height from teasing yesterday. So I'm gonna gently start to brush it out. Still have some pretty good curls and waves going on. I have absolutely no idea what I'm planning on doing with my hair today. Um, I have a dentist appointment today and then I have a meeting later. So I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. So. A lot of times when I'm sitting at my vanity, putting on my makeup, thinking about, you know, what I'm going to do with my hair or, or clothing or whatever for the day, um, I go through Pinterest. I have a pretty extensive, I've curated a really good list of vintage hairstyles that I really like and want to, want to emulate or want to try. And so I'll go through Pinterest and see if I can get any inspiration for my hair. And I did that today and I, I kind of found two photos that um, I've not really done before. One of them is similar to something I've done before, but um, I don't know how ambitious I'm feeling to, to attempt a couple of them. And I think maybe it might actually be just kind of a combination of the two photos together, depending on how, how my hair wants to go today. So, all right, so here's my brush out. I've still got a nice bit of wave, got some curl, pretty happy with how this is still going. So today I'm actually going to use the Olaplex number six. This is the Bond Smoother. This is more like a, um, it's like a creamy balm rather than the oil. And I find that later on through my set, um, I like having this cause it just, it doesn't weigh the hair down, but it just kind of gives it more oomph, I guess, than just the number seven bonding oil. So um, it's really hard to describe what it feels like, but it's, it's a little bit more hydrating. It feels, um, it feels like it helps to structure the waves and the curls a little bit more than the oil does. The oil just kind of smooths everything out and gets the frizz down. This does that, but it also kind of helps to shape things a little bit better. So as my curls start to relax throughout the week, um, it definitely needs a little bit more. You can see how it just kind of smooths everything out a little bit better and um, gives a little, little bit more definition, I guess. So most of my hairstyles, if you notice, um, are either, you know, kind of a half up, half down hairstyle. Um, I don't do victory rolls very often. I will do one kind of pin curl roll on one side. I'm just not a fan of victory rolls, to be honest. I think there's so many other wonderful hairstyles that are more indicative of the 1940s than victory rolls. I think, um, I don't know, they're just kind of played out for me. So I don't really like to do them unless I can kind of incorporate a wave into it, but the, just the straight full on rolls, I don't like that. 
it doesn't um, it doesn't go with my style and it's just not something that I personally like to do but I generally you know I have my part on this side all the time um, occasionally I'll do a middle part but I find that I have to actually set my hair to do the middle part because this is where my hair goes all the time this is my normal part and if you do a middle part right now this side of your hair is actually going to be flatter than this side because the the tension of your hair constantly going this way is going to create that kind of flatness on one side but if you're moving it to the other side you're actually creating a little bit of height just from moving the part so I have a hard time kind of taking mid set doing a, a middle part without it looking really wonky. So I will actually have to set my hair in a middle part to get it a little bit more even. So um, most of my hairstyles are, you know, the same kind of parting. I take this side all the way from the back of my ear here and that's a little too much actually. There we go, that feels better. And because I don't have bangs, it does kind of limit a little bit of what I can do because my hair is longer um, on this side. And I will kind of like I did on the first day, I'll, um, I'll kind of cut it in half in a way. So, you know, I'll pull it back this way and then pull these forward. So that way I have a little bit of bang that way and that also helps to create a bit of height. And I think that's something like what I'm going to try and do today. Um, get this part out of the way. So I think I'm gonna take this, just this front section. Hold on to that just a moment. Do a little bit of teasing just here at this base. And I'm going to roll it into a, just like a, a pin curl, like a very large pin curl kind of back roll, mostly because I just, I want some height right here. This is not actually going to be seen much, but I wanna create this um, kind of a, a bump here. Um, I guess I'm in, in a way I'm kind of creating like, this is where a hair rat would somewhat be placed, but I'm using my hair instead of the, just the rat. So I'm just going to, Pin this in, secure it nicely. There. And I've got this nice little wave right here. So, and for this guy, I don't know. kind of works. Get a little bit of pomade.
kind of like it. I want to, again, bring out that bit of a wave right there. Okay, so now for this side. So in the picture, it looks like she's got her hair kind of pulled back this way, but I think I'm just going to do another roll so I don't have a, um, kind of an empty space right here. So I'll take a little bit of pomade and again, just tease it up a little bit. bring this over or I can just do kind of a I don't know what do we think get this out of the way Okay, that's not working. Let me re-roll that one. See, you get to see me screw up and try again. And this is normal. This is exactly how things go usually when I'm trying out a new hairstyle because I'm trying to puzzle it out myself. I don't have the exact idea and of course my hair also has a mind of its own at times so even though I have the finished product in my head of how I want it to look that doesn't mean that my hair is going to cooperate and give it to me.
This looks kind of weird, but I'm kind of liking it. Because of this super wave I've got going on on the side, it's not giving me that smooth look, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of giving me like a double pin curl a little bit. And I'm not hating it. It's definitely not as structured as a regular pin curl would be. Too bad. Hmm. I kind of like this. So it's a similar silhouette that I wear a lot. Um, I think I've talked about this many times that because I have a round and kind of chubby face, I really like to kind of square off my um, my hair. It just kind of offsets that a, a lot. And I think that's another reason why I don't tend to wear my hair down a lot um, because it just, I think it just enhances the, the roundness and the, the chubbiness of my cheeks. And, um, and so I, I just feel like this kind of squared off, um, silhouette on top. I don't know. I think it's, it's more, uh, flattering for me. And, um, but there's, I mean, there's tons and tons and tons of, um, silhouettes. I shouldn't say tons and tons. There's, there's several. Um, I also like to do the kind of the asymmetrical. So because I always part my hair on this side, so this side's always going to be a little bit heavier and usually higher than this side. Um, and again, I'm trying to offset the roundness and the chubbiness of my cheeks. And I think that asymmetry kind of does that. Um, it's another reason that I don't wear a middle part a lot because that's very symmetrical. Um, and it, to me, it's like, you, you gotta be really precise with the, the center part um, because any bit of asymmetry with that, unless it's fully asymmetrical, it looks off. It looks kind of weird. Um, okay, so I was thinking I might actually wear my hair in a hairnet today to help preserve the, sorry, I'm going through my, my filing cabinet of hair nets. Let's see. Okay. So I get these hair nets in like packages of 12, um, super cheap on Amazon and uh, I'll provide a link for you in the description if you are interested in getting some hair nets. But let's see how this looks. And it's just really to help preserve the curls. Um, I feel like the back of my hair is looking pretty good. So I kind of want to um, preserve it, but also, you know, the hair net helps to kind of showcase the curls, whereas a snood is going to completely cover the hair. So if your hair's not looking so grand, a snood is perfect for that. But if your hair's looking good, you want to preserve that, um, 
you know, the curl and the wave. A hairnet is perfect for that. And I always secure it with a small bobby pin just at the top. And I try, if I have bobby pins in my hair, I try to kind of connect it with another bobby pin to really make it secure. So, get that nice and stuffed in there. So this is what the back looks like in the hairnet. And I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to hairspray the hair in the net. Um, just like on day one, it kind of helps to um, solidify the waves and just uh, helps to preserve them a little bit longer. But I am pretty happy with this. And yeah, so now I have a new hairstyle, yay. Okay, there you have it. This is day three of the life cycle of my wet set. And I've got a nice half up, half, di half down hairdo. You don't have to wear the hairnet if you just want to, um, you know, wear it down, that's fine too. This is also a great style if you just want to pull it back into a chignon or a nice little bun. Um, half up, half down are fantastic because you can do so many different things on top and then do pretty much whatever you want in the back. Um, yeah, so pretty happy with this. Thanks for um, sitting through my, uh, my trial <laughs> of doing something a little different with my hair. And uh, hopefully I will see you next time for day four of the life cycle of my wet set. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.